Good morning, ladies. We're a group called the Hopefuls. We're currently students, um, and we've been working together since September. We're here today to tell you a little bit about what happens after you're successful with an access course. We're also going to tell you why we chose access and what our future plans are. So I'd like to introduce the team. Um, on the end there we've got Sabrina. She's aspiring to be a midwife specialising in ultrasound sonography. So that's her long-term goal. Next in the line we have Jess. Jess um, is a teenage mum herself and aspires to work with teenage pregnancies or she wants to go into high-risk midwifery. Next in the group we have Natalie. You will have to excuse her. She does have a poorly throat today, so she might, she might sort of gag a little bit when she speaks, <laughs> but just thought I'd better pre-warn that. Um, and Natalie's long-term goals is she wants to be a midwife educator, so she's actually going to plan going into education long-term and teaching. And I'm Claire, and my uh, long-term ambition is to practice midwifery in whatever um, field for, with a holistic approach. Right, I'll hand you over to Sabrina. Hey, so this is why we chose access. So some of us will chose access to to improve on existing grades, so if some of us didn't get, say, above C and GCSE, then we, this course helps or is equivalent to or above A level, they say. Um, oh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, we also can learn to gain a better understanding of middle three so that we, are, we know at least some aspects before we go into uni, so we know what we're doing. Um, and also, obviously, to go to university in the long term. Yeah. Yeah, some of us haven't been in education for a few years, so it's good to come to college so we can get back into it. And, yeah. And it's a faster route to move the instead of A levels. So I didn't want to do my A levels, so I came <laughs> here instead. And um, it fits into family life as we are. Here two and a half days a week, so we can have days we have days off where we can sit in our family. Um, and to meet new people and make new friends, which we all have. So, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. Um, we all chose a variety of universities. Um, some of us choosing for location, being closer to home. Me, on the other hand, wanting to get as far away from home as possible. Um, we chose the universities depending on the our personal criteria. So, Jess, for example, has a young family, so she needs to be close to home, so she chose Bedfordshire. Claire chose uh, for the location and the reputations of her universities. Sabrina chose for the location as well, and I chose for the good reputations and the good course structure. Um, the universities we chose that were more local were Bedfordshire, Northampton, um, Angley Ruskin, Hertfordshire. Also, the good course structure was Northamptonshire, Coventry, London South Bank. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, really good reputation was Sheffield Haddam, Cardiff, and King's College. Also, uh, for the state of the art equipment with Birmingham City and Kingston. All of the universities that we chose were for the uh, state of the art equipment, the co course structure, everything was as high as standard. <laughs> so we chose the best universities we could. Right, the top universities that were whittled down by our group were. Northampton. This was chosen by Sabrina. Sabrina had um, decided that the core structure there, which is on a six-week process where you actually do six weeks at uni and then six weeks within the hospital, would work well for her. She also thought the facilities were very good when she visited the university. Jess, as we mentioned earlier, does have a young family. 
Um, and apart from positive teaching style, location can be really important when you're choosing your uni. So you will have to bear that in mind. There's no right answer, there's no wrong answer when you're choosing your uni. It's what's personal to yourselves. Sheffield Hallam, as Natalie said earlier, was her favourite choice because she wanted to be away from home, she wanted to enjoy the, the student life, as well as it being culturally diverse and quite an up-and-coming city. That's not the same for everybody. Um, if you've got a young family, it's absolutely key to choose a university that's going to work for that, for you. The last thing you want to do is choose something that in a year's time you go, I, I can't cope with this, it's not fitting into my family life. So that has to be really key when you're making your choices. My choice, Initially it wasn't King's College, but as I got an interview, um, I thought it would be silly if they offered not to possibly take them up on it. And the choice there was literally just because of the reputation. I'll now hand you over to, hopefully when we're finished, that's what we'll end up with our degrees. At the bottom there. <laughs> I'll now hand you over to Jess. Okay, so back up lads, as we... Oh, actually, sorry, Jess. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I think it's Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that course, well, midwifery is a three-year Bachelor of Science degree. Um, so that's a 45 week course with a seven-week holiday period. Um, so yeah, this is based on the North Hampton. So they have, as I said, six weeks on placement and then six weeks theory-based in the classroom. Um, they take 30 to 35 students, this may vary over the years. Um, the, the hospital that you choose will be the hospital that you do placement for three years, and students have to do 37 and a half hour shifts. So that's nights, lakes, and then mornings. They'll go on community as well. They must have relevant experience, um, work experience, so that's in the care industry. Nurses' homes, working with disabled people, things like that. Um, and to get in, you have to have requirement of 30 merits of distinctions or A levels in biology, sociology, and one to pass the Okay, so that's Now on to Jess. <laughs> no apologies. 